Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. General Motors and LG Energy is making a huge investment in the future of batteries to power electric vehicles. The companies will pump $2.3 billion into a second battery cell manufacturing plant. The joint venture is run by Altium Cells. It's expected to create 1,300 jobs. Construction will begin immediately in Spring Hills, Tennessee, south of Nashville. GM's first battery plant is Lordstown, Ohio. The company says the new facility will open in 2023 and it will help give GM an edge in producing a large amount of batteries. Schools across Metro Detroit are putting their return to in-person learning plans on hold. The Detroit School System District Board voted to keep students virtual until at least May 11th. The district will monitor the city's infection rate. If the infection rate doesn't fall by May 11th, that board meeting, in-person classes could be suspended for the rest of the school year. Meanwhile, Ann Arbor Public Schools is planning a pause as well. Students from fourth grade and up will now have to wait until at least May 3rd to return to in-person learning. Well, temperatures today better off than yesterday. High of 57 degrees will be near 60 on Saturday. A chance for a shower or two on Sunday. The bigger story, 65 on Monday and then colder on Tuesday, which could bring even a rain snow mix.